farmers have long realized that accurate plant spacing is crucial to getting top yields. There's little a grower can do later in the season to make up for poor seed placement or spacing at planting time. So when there's a marked improvement in planter performance, there's bound to be grower enthusiasm. The accuracy is tremendous. And the spacing is just perfect. When scouting fields that were planted with the new meter, I have found that the spacing is unbelievably even. It, it just it did an excellent job. You don't see doubles, you don't see skips. What special attachments are these farmers so excited about? No special attachment. They're talking about the new meter enhancements on John Deere Maxi Merge and Pro Series planter units. Enhancements that deliver better seed singulation and better seed drop. That translates into plant spacing that's more precise and more accurate. And there's more good news. Many current John Deere planters can be upgraded with these new enhancements for a fraction of the cost of add-on attachments from other companies. Better seed spacing from your planter for less cost. That is something to be excited about. Hi, I'm Scott Schulte for John Deere. In this video, we'll show you how these new meter enhancements improve seed singulation and seed drop. We'll see how John Deere tested these new designs in the lab and in the field to prove that no one delivers more accurate plant spacing or greater yield potential than John Deere. We'll hear more comments from the corn growers who put these improved planter units to the test on their farms. Plus, we'll get advice from a John Deere engineer involved with the testing on what you can do before planting and during planting to improve plant spacing and emergence. First, let's look at seed singulation, what it is, and how the new John Deere design improvements impact it. Farmers and researchers have long understood the importance of seed singulation. The selecting of a single seed and placing it in the soil a uniform distance from its neighboring seeds. Proper singulation is important for maximum corn yields because it provides each corn plant room to grow without undue competition for water, sunlight, and nutrients. For more than 20 years, John Deere planters have used a highly accurate vacuum metering system to select a single seed and then release it gently to the soil. This system uses vacuum pressure to pick up and hold seeds on a rotating seed disc. The vacuum pressure is then released and the seed falls through the seed tube to the prepared soil below. While the John Deere vacuum system has long been a leader in accurate seed singulation, changes in seed and farming practices have brought about the need for some additional metering refinements. With more corn on corn ground and more no-till, strip-till and minimum till, corn fields have become rougher in recent years. Planting fast on rough fields reduce planter accuracy. The seed you plant can also impact seed spacing. Today's genetically modified seeds are often less uniform in size and shape. Plus, seed treatments can make it more difficult to select and drop a single seed. This has meant cell type seed discs, traditionally used for planting corn, do not always provide the best seed singulation. Sometimes two seeds will stick in one cell, causing doubles, or two seeds to drop close to each other. That'll mean two competing plants growing very close together, generally one stunting the other. So how do we address these challenges? First, let's look at metering changes that improve seed singulation. Both the Pro Series and Maximerge vacuum meters now have an improved precision machined center hub and a heavier hub spring. These improvements ensure the seed disc stays properly positioned when planting on rough ground. The result? Improved repeatable singulation time after time, plus more consistent seed release above the seed tube for improved spacing. The hub area also has an improved disc latching handle, making it easier than ever to change seed discs when changing crops. Seed singulation also is improved with the Promax 40 flat disc. This flat disc system works great for most corn growers as it handles a variety of seed sizes and shapes, and it's crucial for growers planting irregular or heavily treated seed. The flat disc has no pockets or indented cells to hold the seed. Vacuum holds the seed against the holes. A double eliminator gently nudges double or triple seeds away, so only a single seed is held until it is released into the seed tube. This flat-style disc has been in use since 1991. 
If you want the best seed singulation across many seed sizes, shapes, and treatments, upgrade your Max Emerge or Pro Series row units with the Pro Max 40 flat disc. Seed singulation improvements also include a redesigned double eliminator on the Pro Series row units. This double eliminator has three defined set points with a center detent position, so you get a positive, accurate setting row to row. The center detent is the optimal setting for more than 90% of the corn planted today, preventing doubles in virtually all cases. The other two positions are there to meet unique seed characteristics today and into the future. Getting a consistent double eliminator setting row to row has never been easier. The knockout wheel on these planter units positively ejects seed from the seed disc. This can be important with heavily treated seed. Again, both the new double eliminator and knockout wheel are available as upgrades to existing John Deere planters with Pro Series row units. But John Deere engineers didn't stop the improvements with the metering system. They developed a unique way to improve seed drop as well. The new flush face seed tube is made of a revolutionary translucent material. Since the seed tube is now translucent, the seed sensor can be mounted outside of the tube. Other seed tubes on the market today mount the seed sensor through a hole in the seed tube. A small ramp protects the seed sensor, but this ramp can cause the falling seed to bounce in the tube, impacting seed spacing. With the new John Deere flush face tube, the seed sensor can sense each seed through the seed tube, thereby removing the sensor and the protective ramp from the path of the seed. Now there's an uninterrupted surface for the seed to pass from the time the seed enters the seed tube to the exit point. That smooth surface delivers more consistent seed spacing. Consider upgrading your planter and your seed placement with new flush face seed tubes. Do you like the sound of these new planter improvements? Well, I have to admit, when I first heard about them, I wondered how much do these enhancements really impact seed spacing? To find out, we went to the engineering test lab John Deere completes numerous validation studies to determine the effectiveness of new products. And these new meter enhancements were no exception. They were put to a series of stringent tests. These tests included a unique visualizing system where test engineers monitor seed movement through the seed tube to predict where in the furrow seed will land. This data helps the designing engineers analyze the entire system from the meter to the seed tube exit for optimal spacing results. Engineers complete these tests using a variety of seeds, including heavily treated seed and irregular shaped seed. Plus, they even test how these new design enhancements stack up against other meters on the market. The results of these lab tests predicted the new John Deere meter enhancements, as well as the new flush face seed tube, would have a marked improvement in delivering uniform seed spacing. But what happens when you take these improvements to the field? Do these improvements seen in the lab show up in the field? To find out, John Deere planted test plots in central Illinois and compared metering designs with the new improved John Deere metering system. Here's what they found. At a five miles per hour planting speed, the new meter enhancements delivered the lowest variation in spacing, meaning they were consistently accurate and precise. And in further analysis, particularly with yield data, the new meter enhancements set the stage for maximum yield potential by accurately placing the seed in the furrow with consistent spacing. On your farm, the yield improvement may be greater or less depending on field growing conditions. John Deere engineers went one step further with these test plots. They compared the results of the new John Deere meter enhancements with add-on planter attachments. The results from the test plots showed that no one beats the new John Deere design in seed spacing and resulting yields. And this may surprise you. These new John Deere enhancements cost substantially less per row than add-on attachments. Unbeaten accuracy, unbeaten corn yields for less cost. That's what these test plots showed. I guess we can see why farmers who used these new metering enhancements last year were so excited about the results. There's not a lot of settings that you have to do. Once it's set, you're ready to go to the field and plant that season. It's so much different and so much better than anything I've ever had in the last 45 years that uh, I can't hardly explain how happy I am to be using it and looking forward to, to planting again next year.
If I had to pick a couple words to characterize the new seed meter, I would say uh, accurate, one, because of the improvement in the accuracy, and two, convenient, because I never had to change discs, even with a wide variety of seed sizes, and uh, just it did a very, very nice job as far as accuracy and, and uh, made it convenient because I didn't have to stop and change the disc. The fertilizer plant sprayer operators comment on how accurate the um, meters were because they can tell the spacing is uh, better where we use the new meter. No matter what size seed, we just dump it in, plant, and the spacing is just perfect. With, with the new seed disc in this year's planter, we noticed in the cab the monitor settled down. Then when, when the corn came up, a lot better stand, and hopefully this fall that will translate into more yield. My dad and uncle have farmed with me for, well, since I was little, and they would never remember our stands as uniform as this year. It just dropped them like a ruler. How's that for impressive real-world results? We've covered a lot of ground in the past few minutes. We've seen how the retooled hub and improved retention spring will hold the seed plate in perfect alignment, even when planting in rough field conditions. We've seen how the Promax 40 flat disc, working with the double eliminator and knockout wheel, gives you better seed spacing, even if you're planting highly treated or irregularly shaped seed. And you've seen how the new flush face seed tube provides for an uninterrupted drop from the disc to the furrow. You've also seen how the uniform seed spacing has been proven in lab tests, and how in side-by-side -side field plots, these new enhancements showed no one beats John Deere for seed spacing uniformity and resulting yield. Improved seed spacing for less cost. That is exciting. And don't forget the comments of real corn growers who put these enhancements to the test in their own fields. An overwhelming endorsement. Before we close this video, let's talk with Peter Nedved, uh, one of the John Deere engineers who involved with testing of these new enhancements. And Peter, I've had a lot of growers are looking to improve their spacing with these new enhancements. Now, from your experience with the tests that you did on these improvements, what advice do you have for growers looking to make any kind of improvement with their yield? At John Deere, we understand that a successful planting operation is the first step towards maximizing your yield. Regardless of whether you take advantage of these meter enhancements, there are two big things you can do to prepare any planter to provide accurate seed spacing. The first thing is to have each planter row unit checked out and fine-tuned by a trained technician. Planter parts wear out and get out of adjustment. If you start planting without having your planter row units inspected or calibrated, it's almost like asking for poor planter performance. My second bit of advice is simply slow down. When you're faced with cold, rainy weather and you're looking to bump up your speed to get over more acres faster, don't. Operating speed has a bigger impact on spacing than you might realize. I know it's tempting to drive a little faster, but remember these two words, speed kills. Speed kills planting accuracy both in spacing and depth and it limits yield potential. I spent the last few years working on seed placement issues and I found a lot of guys get optimum seed placement when they do these things each year. They make sure their planter gets inspected and every row unit is tuned up. And they use the correct operating speed when they plant. How fast should one go? Well, Scott, first of all, it depends on planter size and what crop is being planted, even field conditions. Recommendations for correct planting speeds can be found in the operator's manual as well as online at readytoplant.com. Thank you very much, Peter. Now, Peter just mentioned a very useful website that's been put together by the planting experts at John Deere. And that includes the people who design and build John Deere planters. And that site is readytoplant.com. There, you'll find instructional videos and advice on how to optimize your planter for improved performance. Optimizing your planter involves four mechanical issues and four operational issues. Mechanical issues include making sure drives are properly maintained and lubricated as necessary. 
tuning up row units and replacing worn components, particularly those that touch the soil, properly installing any attachment and thoroughly inspecting vacuum meters and keeping them in top shape by replacing worn out seals or other parts. The four operational factors are selecting the correct seed disc for the type of seed you are planting, using the correct vacuum level, using talc to keep treated seed moving within the system, and as Peter mentioned, operating at the correct ground speed for your conditions. There's also the number one source of great advice on getting the most out of your planter, and that's your John Deere dealer. He'll give you the expert help and advice you need to keep your planter, regardless of age, working at its top potential. Plus, your John Deere dealer can tell you which of these new meter enhancements will work on the planter you own. This year, why not upgrade your planter to get seed spacing that's more precise, more accurate, and more affordable than add-on attachments? Perhaps next summer, you'll be talking like these farmers. You don't see doubles, you don't see skips. Just perfect right on all the time spacing.